Oh god. Oh, oh, that was, that oh, is the wow. best party we have ever had. Alright, oh. Let's turn the lights off. I right. have oh, oh. whack. I go to bed. I'll let talk of functions and that's all I wanted. Well, oh, have you seen the time? We've partied literally all afternoon. Oh, into wow. The, into the wee hours of the evening. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's very nearly our bedtime. It's, uh, yeah, we've got 20 minutes, if that. I'm sure we can I haven't even minutes. got time to brush my teeth. You know, I'm going to put my lullaby on. Oh, not that hard. Ah, ah! Oh, this always helps me sleep. No, horrific. Um, yeah. So, if you've just tuned in, uh, yeah, uh, welcome to the end of the third episode. Cause no, no, we're going to bed. So. All right. Well, I'm in bed. <sighs> no. How was that? Will, <clears throat> Will, get up, get up, no. get up, uh, huh? get up! I just heard a noise, big explosion. Ah! Oh. No, I just dreamt that. No, get up! The, Will, the oh, door's I gone. The doors are right here. No, the door, about? the front door's been blown off or something. What are you on about you crazy sleep man? Whoa! What oh. the hell is this? Oh my! Ow! Ow! Goodness. Ow! Ow! Are you all right? Just, ow! <laughs> Did you do this to the door? Yeah, and then I set myself on fire. Oh, what time is it anyway? Damn it. Oh, I don't believe this has happened. Oh, the hell was that? What? Downstairs, I just heard another explosion. What? Hold on. I can hear a zombie. Oh, this is well. What's happening? Well, I don't like what's happening. Some, someone, is, what? Someone has got a vendetta against us. Where are all my guests? Exactly. Like, <sighs> why us? Look, they've just—it's not even home time. They've they've dug here. They've dug in with this tunnel bore. Right. <laughs> TNT Where here. From? Where have they gone? Is there? I just picked it up. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> Where is that? Hey, look there. They are. Hey. Hey. I can't see. Oh, you do oh. oh. No, careful. Sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. I'll just go and go get them. Round them back oh. up. Oh, I'm on you. Hey. 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 Come on. Hold on. I'm coming down. Get back up. That. Fine. Go on. Whoa. Go on. I kind of think this is a lost cause. Go on, get up there. G Wait. Ugh. Oh. Right, I'm going to find out who did this to us. How are you going to do that? Hold on. Right, I've got a plan. Meet me, uh, meet me at the front door. Okay. It's about time we did something about this. Right. <coughs> what? Have you got a jetpack? Yeah, it was a metal box. <sighs> Kidding. No? Stop slacking. Alright, maybe there. Come on. <sighs> Go on, Will. Oh, I'm nearly. Oh, I have got a jetpack. God, I'm not a big fat cheat like right. you. <laughs> Less the fat. So it's a little bit below the belt. It's a bit harsh, though. <laughs> you have been working out a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Um, it's very energetic partying last night. The, uh, right. Uh, What's right. your plan? Here's the plan. Right. Yeah. You put plan. out the fires and put make some sort of like temporary wooden cover for the uh, lack of a door. And, sure. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go to bed. Wait. What? All right. Hmm. <sighs> Morning. Oh, oh, that's horrific. <laughs> um, how are you? Um, oh, uh, I feel better. 
Are you gonna get out of there? That's horrible. Yeah. You remember I'll me telling you right. after I Just installed this? Go you check can't out have my door. Go check out. Go check out the, uh, the barricade I did. <sighs> did Please, please <laughs> tell me you barricaded more than just No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I actually did a really good job. Look, go and have a look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, this is... Do you like it? This is... Um, this is de oh, yeah, this is... I mean, is... it's a bit makeshift. But I think it'll do for now. No, this is brilliant. This is... I... <sighs> Permanent replacement, maybe? Uh, I wouldn't go that far. I mean, but certainly, I mean, in terms of the time you had, isn't Bard Kingdom Brunel's going to be knocking on your door? Well, if you could find somewhere to knock. Uh, There's plenty of wood. That wouldn't fall apart at the lightest touch. Mm. What? Right, whatever. Anyway, clear the slot up and, and sort out the walls and make it look right. Uh, make it look how it was right. before. I'm going to... I'm gonna sort right. this out. I'm... Someone must have broken in last night, so I'm going to <laughs> find the glass. <laughs> Sorry. Someone must have broken in last night, so I'm gonna. I think it's time we upped our security measures. Someone's clearly got it in for us. So. Yeah, I don't. I. I mean, I can't even think who it would be. Mm. It's not like. I mean. <laughs> it's not like there's anyone else on the server. Yeah, <laughs> there is that. It's not like. It's not like we do anything bad, is it? No. Why would? Why? Why is that where you go with? Well, I, I just try to understand why someone would dislike us. Oh, actually, I need to turn the lights on. It must just be some evil person. There you go. Right. Oh Christ! Wood everywhere. So let's get this tutorial going finally. You shouldn't have asked me to put wood everywhere then. B A M. So. This episode, we're going to cover variables. Now, we're only doing this because then I can use all this information to make Will make me a passworded door. So, variables. Make me do it. Why don't you do it yourself? You're the programmer. I'm too busy teaching you how to do it. <laughs> right. Variables. First of all, what are they? Variables are effectively. Just a way of an example here. Variables are like a chest that can store a value. So, if I put a value down, uh, this chest can store uh, numbers, or it can store letters, or it can store anything. But basically, it's a variable. It's variable what it can store. So it can store that, it can store that, it can store my watch, it could store anything. So, that's what a variable is. Now, are you cheating over there? No. I don't even know how. So are they? Okay, wake up, Pam. There we go. What do they store? Well, in Lua there are five different types of variables. And they are... actually... Will, do you want to come help me illustrate the different types of variables? Uh, No... Uh, oh, sorry, that's my fault. I worded that as a question. Get over here and help me explain variables. Uh, oh, Jesus. Right, okay. Uh, let's do it on the big monitor. Okay. <sighs> Six o'clock is too early to get up. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop eating. <laughs> Actually, I'm really right, hungry. Let's Can get I have some beef? Work. Thanks. Yeah. Beef. Um, I haven't cooked it much. Oh, oh, it's disc Ugh, get off me. Okay, let's uh, let's look at this. Right, so variables. Uh, what do they store? Well, the hello, hello, hello. Computer. <laughs> there are <laughs> um five types of variables in uh, you're not Bam. <laughs> <laughs> there are five types of variables in Lua, um, and they range from being very sim very simple and easy to understand to maybe a little bit more difficult, and then there's the harder one, which we will cover in a later episode. So the very first one is numbers, uh, or numbers. a number variable. Now that's pretty simple. I mean, do I really need to go into details as to what a number is? 
Uh, it depends how philosophical we want these tutorials to be. Oh, this is YouTube, so extremely. Really? <laughs> I think we should go more slapstick. Uh, we should, I think you've done enough slapping of your stick. Anyway. Oh um, dear. <laughs> a number variable is um, simply uh, a number stored in a variable. So if you if you want to bring up the Lua prompt, Will, real quick, so we can... Uh, what would... Okay, yeah, let's do that. Lua. There you go. So if you say, for example, uh, let's make two variables with different numbers in them. So if we make one called foo, so if you want to make a variable, you just type foo. Or, or so you don't you don't have to type foo, you type the name of the variable. So in this case, we're making a variable called foo. So, and then equals, one equals. Okay. And then whatever you want it to equal. So let's make this one equal 12 or something. So, okay, 12 is an example of a number. Yeah, exactly. So, our number, and then push enter. Okay. Are there any other numbers? There's, there's, uh, there's quite a few numbers. Okay. Um, I've not counted them all, but uh, yeah. there's definitely more than five. Okay. Um, so, let's make a second number variable. So, let's call it bar, um, and then ma make that one equal two or something. Uh, two. Yeah. Okay. And then now foo and bar both equal uh well foo equals twelve and bar equals two. So now we can actually do like arithmetic with them or math. So if you say like foo plus bar No. So like you'd write a sum but with words. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like sort of weird algebra. I don't I'm not really sure this is gonna work. I mean it's it's nonsense really. No. If you did so Oh fourteen. Oh well I stand corrected. You, you well that's that's not like you. Um, so yeah, fourteen. Now, obviously, you can do any sort of arithmetic. Hey. Like that. You could do, <laughs> you could do divide or times or um, uh, subtraction. Um, times in programming, by the way, is is done but with the asterisk. Um, so foo asterisk bar would be times, or divide is done as Will's done there with the um, forward slash. Oh, so well, it's a bit clever, isn't it? It's a bit clever, yeah. So that's numbers. Now the next type of uh, variable is uh, the string variable. Now, a string is... Um, a w it comes a from spiders. Yeah, yes, yes it does. Um, but in this case, uh, strings are um, words or, or letters or characters. So any number of characters or letters um, in a variable is called a string. So um, we create uh, why strings. Aren't, why aren't numbers just strings uh, of numbers? Well, you differentiate, <laughs> you differentiate before a string uh, between a string and a number uh, using speech marks or inverted commas. So if you okay. put uh, the number 12 in inverted commas or speech marks, that would be a string, oh. not a number. Yeah, like that. Okay. Um, if you pushed enter now, in fact, I think it would probably just return 12. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. So It does. Um, if you, so let's make, let's make that. So if you make foo equal hello um, in speech marks, don't forget. In speech marks. Yep. Hello. Um, and bar can equal um, Liam. So hello, Liam. Okay. Um, Are we going to add these? Yeah, we can add them together, just like math. But we can. How do words add? Um, I... <laughs> well, basically, what it does is it'll put one on the end of the other. So. Um, okay. Generally, that's called concatenation, but that's a stupid word. So I just like to call. We're just adding words to. Uh, Strings together, so no, you don't do oh, it. Like doesn't, that. It doesn't like. No, it. you don't do that. Um, what you need to do is um, type uh, foo. Yeah. And then space, and then dot dot. So two two full stops. No, no, not a colon. Two oh. two two full stops, and then two bar. Dot dot. Bar. Yeah. I'm gonna push enter. There you go. So now that's, oh. that's made one one string call, uh, that says hello Liam. It it's forgot to put a space. Uh, well, you'd need to put the space in there yourself because it won't do it for you because it doesn't know. Where, to. where do I put it? Uh, you could put it at the end of "hello" or at the beginning of "Liam," or you could have, or you could uh, just do a um, a space in speech marks and then another dot dot bef uh, between the dot dot and bar, if you like. What you mean like that? Yeah, and then another dot dot and then bar. Yeah, and then, there you go. Oh, Simple that's a bit that. there. Um, now the interesting thing about variables, now I'm going to. Um, what you can do is um, use them 
instead of where you would actually just write something. So for example, um, the print command we looked at last week, if you want to type print there, Will. Okay, now, I'll, I'll do that. If you print foo instead, uh, at, without, no, you want to, you want to, in, in the brackets, Will. You, you remember how this works. No. Uh, and then foo without, spe foo without speech marks. Okay. And now, yeah, now push enter. Yeah. So it actually says hello instead of foo because um, outside of speech ah. marks we're not referring to the string foo we're, we're, we, are retur we are referring to the variable foo which contains the word hello so it's that's pretty straightforward um, what on earth is that 3747 gubbins uh, that's um, that's just what the computer knows that function to be called so don't worry about that what that's clever it's it. never going to be useful ever um, okay so uh, the next type of variable is um, really simple. It's called a boolean, and now a boolean is just a posh way of saying Boo! yes or no, true or false, Liam. one or zero. So um, it can only e equal one of two things. It can either equal true or false. As simple as that. So um, what if something isn't as simple as that? Any? Oh, I see what you mean. So if you want. Uh, to check if something is a boolean or you want to equal make something into a boolean anything that isn't nil um, or false always equals true wait 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 so other variables can be booleans um in a weird sort of way yeah so basically um everything is true except for um nothing or um false so it's basically that's all you need to remember. So, if I were to say, um, if I were to make a, f uh, if I were to check whether foo was true or not, it would be right. because it equals hello. Oh, okay. Because it's got something in it, it's true. If it hasn't got anything, because in it, it's, it's false. Okay. Um, it's got a sort of truthiness to it. <laughs> yeah. But but, the, but really, you don't need to know that too much at the moment. The important thing to remember is that a boolean is true or false, and that's all you need to know. We were doing that yesterday with redstone, weren't we? Yeah, we're, when we turned on the redstone or turned off the redstone, we were using a boolean to tell it whether to turn it on or off. So, yes. So, yeah, so true or uh, false. And that's why it wasn't a string. Exactly, yeah. Um, now, the next type of uh, variable is called a table. Now, that's... Um, a table? Yeah, a table. Um, it's one of the slightly more confusing variables in Lua, and it's um, basically... Um, a way of storing multiple variables in one place. So you can res you can have a table full of numbers, or a table full of strings, or a table oh, full. Well, of it's it's like having your breakfast spread on your table. Uh, yes. In if if by like you mean not like at all. Yeah. Um, oh. It's you can have like say you can even have a table full of other tables which have in them. What. Um, yeah, it's getting a bit meta now. It's, a bit, it's getting like tableception. But the important thing to remember, because we'll go over tables in the next the episode. The only time you get tables on tables is like a car boot sale or a, <laughs> an auction house. All right, well, okay. We're going to go over tables in another in a later episode because they are a bit complicated to understand um, f straight out the um, straight off the bat. So don't worry tables about that. Tables in tables. <laughs> Uh, and now the last type, the fifth type of uh, variable that you can have in Lua, might confuse you a little bit, but we're gonna we're gonna make sure you understand this is a function. Wait, we were using functions yesterday. Yes, we were. Functions, you see, um, you know how whenever we want to run a function, we use brackets. Uh, yeah. Yeah. To put the arguments yeah. in. Now, if we don't use brackets, we're not ref we're not trying to run the function we're referring to the function as a variable. So, just to test that for you, if you say, okay. um, let's make foo equal print. So you know the print function we use to make things come on the screen. Yeah. Um, if we make foo equal print, but without yeah. brackets at the end, now push enter. Now foo is exactly okay. the same as the print function. So if you type pr uh, foo, yeah. and then open brackets, and and stick uh, I don't know bar in there or, or or write a string in. I can't even remember what bar is. Uh, I think it's my name. <laughs> it's just it's, well I'll put your name in it okay. as a string. So now if you push enter now it should print Liam. There you go. 
Okay. Just, just as oh, if you were so... printing it, foo now acts just exactly the same as the as the uh, print method uh, function. Sorry. Okay. So that, yeah, you that get makes that. sense. Yeah, I get it. But yeah. why, I mean, why would we do that? Well, um, that's a good point. Now, right now, the programs you write probably won't do that sort of thing very often, if at all. But it's a very, very helpful system uh, or, or function to have in place uh, for when you do want to do it. So, for now, maybe just bear in mind that you can do it. And then, if you're experimenting and you think, "Oh, if only I could uh, move functions around," um, well, now you know you can. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so I think that pretty much covers all the variable types and what you can store. Um, what can they do? Well, let's answer that question with uh, point four. Let's make a password door. That rhymed, so you know it's awesome. So, first of all, let's get a computer. I think I've got one in here somewhere. There we go. Why are we making a password door? Because someone's clearly got it in for us, and I think we need to beef up our security. So, first of all, it's a bit silly having just a button to push to open the door. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Password door will be safer, especially against explosives. Shut up. Alright, um, if you'll do the honours of uh, horrifically demolishing this uh, current okay. setup we've got here. I would be honoured. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, so... This, uh, by the way, if anyone's uh, wondering, this thing here is a um, a red power jacketed cable. It's basically a type of uh, wire that can stand up all by itself. It doesn't need um, a wall to sit against. Oh, just like the things you get in your house. Yeah, um, and these are just panels or covers or whatever. I think the covers aren't they, actually. Yeah, probably. They're just iron covers. You're gonna have to move. Get off. Get off. What? Why? Because I'm putting the computer on there. there we go. Ah! Okay. Right. So, now if we... Done. Jobs are good. Ah. Oh. Right. Now if we, um... Start the computer. Okay. <sighs> now... Did you just punch it to turn it on? Yeah, so... That's how you turn most things on, isn't it? Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, right, so we need to make a program. So, uh, you remember how to do that, don't you? Yes. Are you gonna yes, do it? I do. <laughs> Are you going to do it then? Do you want me to do this for you? Oh, Alright. Yeah, you're making the program, I'm just telling you how. Okay. Edit. And then I want the name of the program. Yep. Uh. No! No. No. Okay. Um, I don't know. What's a good name for a program? I haven't really got into the hang of naming just, just things. Just describe. Make it. Just describe what it is we're trying to do. Uh, just in, in as few a word as possible. Stop that. Stop it now. Okay. Just. I don't know. Just call uh, it password. Call it password. Yes. Well, like, okay. Isn't that going to get confusing? No, it's the name of the program. Come on, just just run it. Right. right. Okay. Aye. So, save it. Right. F yeah. Well remembered. First thing first is all we need to do is figure out what the password's going to be and put it into a variable. So let's make a variable called password. Ah, uh, now now there's two things called password. It and I'm confused. Not I'm confused. My little brain. Right, password right. variable is... Uh, now this is... Can we make it a number? Yes, and no. Now let's because, make it a string. Yeah, if you make it into a number, um, whatever the person inputs as the password when they're trying to guess the password will be a string. Even though it's got numbers in it, it'll still be a string. So, even if you are making it numbers, you have to put it in speech marks. Oh, alright. So... Fine. Uh... Good password then. Oh, I don't know. You're, make, if make you it think. hard to guess, so by uh, just typing the word password. But don't worry. Um, no, let's let let's just do something easy to remember. Okay. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. 
I'll do for now. Okay, that, yeah, that'll do. I'll change that later. Alright, so... You will tell me what you change it to, won't you? Maybe. Uh, it depends how you do it the rest of this. So, um, as we explained earlier... Um, actually, did we explain it earlier? Well, we'll explain it now. I, I can't even remember. <laughs> right, um, what we can do here now as well is, because um, side is a constant um, whenever this program is being run, so whatever side that the wire um, or the redstone signal needs outputting, we might as well define it now. Down. So, oh, no, bottom. Oh, how dare you, sir. So let's make a variable called side and make, uh, it, make okay. it equal a string bottom. Oh, let's divide side by uh, bottom, not down, bottom. bottom. Uh, and then push enter. So now um, we actually get into the bit where the computer actually starts saying things or doing things. So what um, is the first thing you want a computer program like this to do? Um, well, I want it to be a nice empty screen. Yeah, to start so, off with. Like, so to clear the screen when a program starts, you just need to type, you just need to use the term um, API, which is short for terminal. So term, Ter as in terminal, term, yeah, dot, dot, because it's part of the term API, um, clear, and that's a function that accepts no arguments. No arguments. No arguments. So okay. just brackets that's right. in. So if you go to the new line, so while that that clears the screen, so now we want to write um, something. We want to give them a prompt. We want to ask them for something. So we need the computer to ask them for a password. Okay, is there a special way of doing that, or am I just printing text? No, you're just printing text. So, oh, that's nice. First, first you got to tell them what you want. So, it, it means I know what, how to do it. Yes. Print. Yes. Um. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're happy with that one, are you? Uh, I am. I'm very happy. Um, Would you like the bit? Yeah, I, go on. I just want to say to everyone, um, uh, Will's used some speech marks there inside the string. Now, because he, he uh, defined the string by using inverted commas either side, you can use speech marks within it. Um, it's basically the inverse is true. So if, if I want to use uh, inverted commas within my um, string, then I just need to use speech marks on the outside of the string. So it's as simple as that. If if you want to use both inside the string, you got to do something a bit sillier, haven't you? Yeah, uh, we'll co we'll cover that later on. But right now, it's nothing. actually, I've actually done that, haven't I? Have you what? Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah I'll, just... I'll I'll keep it simple and do that. Yeah. There you go. Okay. So um, I'll t carry on. Right, you're I'll just going to make sure, sure you've sure done, done that somewhere else. <laughs> Okay. okay. It's fine. So, it's fine. Okay. Carry so on. now it's going to ask. Now, now it's physically asking for the password. Now we need to tell the computer to be ready to re to accept a password. Um, now we, this line is going to do two things. It's going to it's going to get the computer ready for the input of the password, but it's also going to then take what the person puts and put it into a variable. Now this is called. Um, okay. We're going to use a function called read, and that that accepts one argument. And I'll explain what that is in a second. But um, what you need to do before you do, before you do that, what you need to do right. is uh, plug in my headset. Hold on a sec. Good work. There we go. Hello. 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 Uh, now, what we need to do is put the v uh, the value that comes from read into a variable. Now, this is called. Uh, returning a variable so the, f the read function returns a variable and it returns um, the value that's entered in by the um, by the user if it returns a variable why do I need to make my own variable well it returns a value which you need to put into a variable okay so um, let's say let's call let's make a new var uh, variable called oh yeah guess that's a good idea so guess equals and then read now you don't have to give any arguments to read but uh, because it's a password, um, read has a nice little function where if you give it 
um, one character in speech marks, so a one character string. Um, it will. Can I make it more than one character? No, it, it seems to only work with one character. Um, oh. So, a one character string it will replace every character on screen with that character. So even though when when you push enter, it will return what you've actually typed into the guess variable. Um, as you're typing it, it will show the little asterisk on the string on the screen, so people can't guess your password or watch you type your password. In. So when they type it in, they'll get this little space invader thing. Uh, yeah, something like that. Space invader. <laughs> right. So, so we're about halfway there now. So now it's it's telling. Oh, it's asking only halfway. Oh, oh. Oh. It's asking for a password and then it's um, receiving the password. So now what we need to do is check to see that the password's right. So. To do this, we need to use something called an if statement, and all that is is it's a logical um, test. So it'll test um, what you ask it to test, and if it's true, it will go on to do some things. So in this case, we want to test that password is the same as guess. So if you start the line with if, because it's an if statement. Okay. Space. This is how. Sorry. Okay. What were you going to say? This is how the computer knows to do a check. Yeah, exactly. So um, if and then password. Um, the password variable. Yeah, and now we need to check whether it's the same as, so we have to use two equals, so space and then two equals symbols. No, no, no space between them. There you go. So, right. the reason for that is that one equals symbol is like um, y you're assigning a value, and two equals symbols is checking a value. So, you're, you're uh, so with one equals, you're saying this is it, and then with, this, with two symbols, you're saying is this it. Oh, so the first one is like a command, yeah. and then if the double symbol is like a question. Exactly that, yeah. Um, so, okay. so we need to say uh, equals equals guess. Okay, so if they are the same. Yeah, um, and now we need to use the keyword then. So if you push space and then then. Now what this does is it tells us that we're finished, it tells the program that we've finished defining what the condition is or what the logical test is, which in this case is does password equal guess. Um, so then, so if you push enter now to go into a new line, I haven't I haven't typed the then stuff. Uh, that goes on a new line. So, oh, does it have to? Um, no, but generally it's it's good practice to put on a new line because, and I'll tell you why now. Because what we do now that it's on a new line, we give it a couple of spaces. So if you push space a couple of times, there you go. That right. Now this is called indenting, and it just means that. At a quick glance, you can tell that everything that's been indented um, or moved in a little bit from the left-hand side is only triggered if the if um, test is uh, is true. So, right, it doesn't actually do anything. No, it doesn't do anything. It just makes it a lot easier for you to read. Um, so, if password is guess, then we need to uh, open the door, don't we? So, uh, do you remember? Suppose. Do you remember how redstone works? Uh, or oh, actually, do you think we should tell them that they got the password right, or should just open the door? Uh, probably just open the door, to be honest. I mean, kind of obvious, isn't it? Okay, so open the door, so... Um, okay. Okay, so we're using redstone. Yep. Uh, we are setting an output. Mm -hmm. Oops. Output. Output! <laughs> Uh, it's going well, but down. No, it's not down. It's bottom. But, but also, it's bottom. Well, 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 we've already applied that to a variable at the top side, so we don't oh. need to type it. So you could just type side there instead. Of course, it was so long ago. <laughs> uh, and then the next argument is yeah, true. So true, which is a a, boob. a boolean. Yeah, a boolean. A boo. Yeah. Uh, so now, um, if you remember the bug we had with the first program we wrote. We need to make it no. What <laughs> with the uh, the exercise machine not working? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you tried to trick it into believing it had done exercise <laughs> when actually what? Just just make the computer sleep for about five seconds or so. Sleep. Okay. So the doors will stay open for five seconds, and then we're going to shut. Yeah, exactly that. So if you push enter and then space a couple of times, now we need to start to shut just the same as you are there, just with a false. Instead of a true. Okay. Oh, nearly. It'll do. No, it won't. <laughs> Fix it. Oh. There you go. Right. So, um, <laughs> that's everything that needs to do. So, if you push enter now. 
Okay. Now um, we're finished with this if um, statement now, so we need to end it. So if you get rid of that indentation you've just done there, oh, okay. and just type end, E N D. Now that tells the computer that we're finished defining what happens if it's tr if um, the logical test that we've done returns true. Okay. So, so it's like the if then at the beginning is the open bracket, and the end is the end bracket. Exactly that. Yeah. So everything everything between the then and end happens. Now everything after that will happen anyway, regardless of what happens in the if statement. Ah. So if you push enter, now go to a new line. So okay. now what we want to do is, um, because of the nature of the password program, we want to restart the computer every time it's run, so that every time, and then we can make this program run automatically every time the computer starts up. So it's like a it's like a loop constantly going on. Why don't we just run the program again without rebooting the computer? Uh, because people might be able to um, hack into the computer and uh, change the password and stuff. Oh, okay. That's not good. No, exactly. So, um, in fact, there are ways of uh, closing a program while it's running. Um, so, it might be worth uh, looking into fixing that as well. What do you think? Maybe. Okay, so... I I've kind of don't, didn't understand that. Well... Um, Computercraft has some. Uh, Computercraft has uh, keyboard shortcuts. So Control R um, restarts a computer, and right. Control Control T terminates a program. So if there's a program running, you hold down Control and T, that'll close the program. Now, well, we hang on. If we're running the password program, people can just close it. Exactly. So we don't want that. So now, you know how I said that you can make um, functions equal other functions. Yeah. Well, we can make that happen with the. Um, in this, so there's a, the function that um, causes things to happen um, when they hold down Control T is called um, OS dot pull event. Now okay. we need to make OS dot pull event um, equal um, a different type of event thing. Now you don't need to worry about this. All you need to know, uh, remember, is this command, which I'm going to tell you now. So um, OS dot because it's part of the OS API. Am I doing this in the program now? Yeah, if you just type it here. Okay. It's done. Pull event. So that's, yeah, with a capital E. Here we go. Pull event. And then space. Uh huh. Equals. And then OS dot pull event raw. Oh my goodness. Uh, like that? Yeah, so it's we're not calling any functions. So that, that they are both functions, but we're not calling them, we're changing them. So pull event now equals pull event raw. Now, what that does is that prevents people from hacking their way out of our program. By holding down Control T, does that have to go anywhere in particular in the program? Uh, oh, that's a good, good point, actually. Um, yeah, probably put that at the top. Okay. So I just thought about that. Well, Do you I just thought about that. So. Do I have to type it all out again? Uh, yes, because there's no copy and paste in this. Ah! <laughs> but you're a quick typer, so. Yeah, yeah. Put it after the um, variables. I would have thought. Uh, so here. Yeah. Okay. So OS dot pull event. Equals pull event. Oh. I'm a fast typer, me. <laughs> OS dot pull event raw. <laughs> no, no space. Oops. There you go. Crazy man. Right, so yeah, that should now stop people from being able to hack their way out of our program. So, okay. Uh, we'll leave the password as 123 for now. Um, but later on, I'll. Uh, <laughs> changing it afterwards will be a bit of a pain now that we've added this. Um, command. So do you want to maybe change it to something uh, effective now, or are you just going to leave it as 1, 2, 3 for now? Yeah, because I, I want to make sure I know what it is, if nothing else. Okay. Um... Uh... Any moment now. This is already an incredibly long video. It, it's going on a bit, isn't it? <laughs> uh... Um... Uh... Uh... Oh. Be be better at this. Okay. Uh let's do No, let's just something easy to remember. Alright! Go Toolbar. Toolbar. I forgot the, I, I forgot the name of our series. <laughs> <laughs> right, so <laughs> Brilliant. Excellent. Right, so uh, save that. Oh, uh, save. Yeah, and save. Then exit. Exit. Now let's try it out. So if you type the name of the program. Um. Yep. 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 
Yep. Yep. Now what? Push enter. Okay. Oh, look at that wall of text. Okay, so enter the password. Right, to come in then. Well, first you... Just, first, type, just type in the password. First you must answer. Oh god. Oh, who the hell typed this? You did. Don't <laughs> type the password. You would change the password, that's not the password. Oh. What the hell's going on? <laughs> um, we've not... Um, now, because you've changed type the password and it's not restarting the computer, it's um, just ending the program because you got it oh. wrong. Amazing. So, so edit. Let's let's try it again. Okay. So. Oh, it's moved. It will do. It's, it's like right. one of those screen savers where the text just appears different places. So if you type the password improperly this time. Uh. Oh. I guess the door's open there. Oh, excellent. And uh, now, if we look at the computer, oh, it's, it's my short, face. and now the program's short. So now, um, I'll do this. So if we, okay, we want to make it um, work a little bit better, what we can do is make it so that at the end of the program, it restarts yeah. the computer. So we okay. do this with the reboot command, which is part of the OS API. So OS dot reboot uh, accepts no arguments. So save that and exit. So now when we run it, oh, can't type. Well, so yeah, I were typing. See how it's restarted the computer now. now the last right, thing but now I could just make it send a redstone pulse. Yeah, well, the last thing we need to do is uh, make it so that this program runs automatically every time the computer starts up. So now there's ah. like totally uninterruptible. So to do that, all we need to do is copy password over to a new file called um, uh, startup. So startup, the name startup is a special file that the computer looks for whenever it starts up and if it finds it, it runs that program straight away. So okay. also as you can see there, I've used the copy command. So cp um, is short for the copy command and you just do cp and space. nothing else. Yeah. cp space and then the name of the program you want to copy and then the name of the program you want to copy it to. So there we go. So now we've got, if I type dir there, We've got ROM password ah. and startup. So now if I restart the computer, so if I close the computer, goodbye. It's turned off, and now if I turn it back on, it goes straight oh. to the uh, password hey, program. Hey, that's good, isn't it? So, so if, if I put the wrong password in, yeah, it just oh. goes straight to the uh, question again. And if, and if I do the correct password, there you go. Door opens. And it sits, sits there for a bit, and then ah, uh, there you go. Brilliant. So now, now no one can blow up our doors. No one can blow up our doors. We're totally secure. Have you been gardening? Yeah. Do you like it? It's lovely. It's, it's a start. I might put some babbling brooks and stuff in. So Maybe some nice death traps and that stuff. <laughs> you scare me so much. Now, I think that's pretty much done. I think we've done all the, everything on there. Um, I've right. told everybody how cool. to make a, their own password protected door. Can we finally end this episode? Then? Uh, yeah, I think maybe we should. All right. So, um, worth mentioning is that uh, the more sort of adventurous of you might be able to figure out a way to make bad things happen to people who get the password wrong, for example. Um, or maybe Can we do that in another episode? We could do that in another episode. That sounds like fun. I'm sure we'll have to change the password at some point when you forget it. Um, what, what did I never forget anything. So, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's goodbye from me. <laughs> My name's Liam. Um, so yeah, it's a goodbye from me. Oh, it's not. That's a goodbye from me. Say goodbye. goodbye. Say goodbye, Will. Right. Goodbye. Right, so now it's over with me. Uh, well, I'm feeling a bit lonely. Oh yeah, oh, yeah you're all your friends. Yeah. Tell you what. Can we go friending? Let's go friending. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go get friending. Is that what you keep? That's right. Jesus, Ow. man. Ow.
Ah! Ah! Oh, God! Ow! Ow! <laughs>